previously on New Zealand's Next Top Model. If there's any random bubbles on it, I'll know you're spat now. No, <laughs> the girls learnt that charity doesn't always begin at home. You're alive. Kia ora te A place... <laughs> <laughs> But not every photo shoot involves clothing. I felt very naked on set of my photo shoot, probably because I was. What I see is my fat, white, wobbly, silly lady ass. Elsa's lack of confidence was a turn off for the judges. I just feel like a joke. It's no need for tears. But ultimately, it was Dakota's dire photo that saw her top model dream come to an end. I've got nothing cool to say. Four girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? When me and Dakota got called up, I was just holding back tears. I was really, really, really nervous for the outcome. Congratulations. Thank you. I do want to win so bad. I want to live with Nelly and travel the world and do modelling. I never thought I was going to be top four at all, like, never. So it's really cool. It's been great without Dakota. It's been... Awesome. <laughs> when I talk, I annoy people, and I understand that. You annoy that. the shit out of me, Dakota. We did not get along at all. Like, we hated each other. In this competition, I have evolved from a normal teenager just going to work every day. Ten weeks later, I'm caning my photo shoots. It's just the giant transformation that keeps getting me. Danielle set up this little booby trap and she put mint chocolate in the crocodile's mouth thinking that I would run towards it and get it because I'm a chocoholic. But I knew better than that. I think the last couple of weeks I kind of just freaked myself out by saying to myself, I could actually have a chance in winning. From now, going forward, just stay focused. It's time to push me in the pool. No. Danielle tried to push me in the pool and I ran off. I had this bright idea that I was going to run to the bathroom because you could lock the door. Look, 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 she's gone, she's gone. And then there's like a moment of silence and this huge smash. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, it's karma for you. Danielle! <laughs> she literally sat on the edge of that table and it collapsed. Colin is looking pretty There's heaps more room left for me to grow. They might need to get a bigger house. She who hesitates is lost. And remember, first impressions last. Love, Love Sarah. Go sees, go sees, go sees. Yep, that's what it is. I'm guessing it's going to be go sees which is exciting because I've been looking forward to these the whole competition, so hopefully I kick ass and do well. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. Same. Same. I'm really, really nervous because I've never done that before, like I don't know what a ghosty is. So we went into this big, beautiful building and we went down the elevator and we walked on in and saw Colin. Hi girls, so great to see you. Hi. But you're actually not here to see me. You're here to be a top model. What does a top model do? She gets all the jobs. How does she get all the jobs? Because she gets all the bookings. So I'm sending you on go -sees. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. I've been waiting for go -sees, like the whole competition and I felt really well prepared because I'd been up till 12 the previous night practicing my catwalk. We're gonna be sending you all over Auckland to meet five very hot designers. So I'm giving you four drivers. I'd like you to meet Jean, Michael, Matt and Ryan. Sarah sent them from 62 models. We were all like, oh, they're boys. Because <laughs> we haven't seen boys in like so long and we were real excited. You think they're hot? We're putting them and you in four very sexy brand new Ford Fiestas. 
I was like, yeah, bold fiestas, holla. The whole car park thing was like a James Bond movie, like, you know, just push the button and then out comes this car, <laughs> turns around and it's just perfect. I didn't even know that was invented. It was so cool. All the information you need will be in those cars. Just be back at the department store on the North Shore by 5 p.m., no later. One last thing, ladies. Get hired or get fired. Oh, my God. Where's our first destination? Um, the world on High Street. OK. Feeling confident? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not really. I'm screwed. <laughs> I've never even tried reading a map before. From initiative, I kind of knew High Street was close to, like, K Road. I really struggled to find K Road, and that's, like, the main road, pretty much. Oh, maybe Queen Street's back that way. Without a map, I don't even know where I'd be. Probably in Timbuktu or something like that. Nom D. I'm going to try work my way out. North Shore. I went in another direction compared to all the other girls. There we are. Can't figure out if this is world or if that is world. At first, trying to find out where we were on the map was a bit confusing. Queen Street, Princess Street and High Street are a lot of which helps. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's great. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Now, if you could... Can I just walk up and down? For me, it's really important the attitude is right. Okay. Michaela's a beautiful young woman. She's tall, slim, and that's a non-negotiable. She has to be. She was working this little piece of ground like a pro. She was selling the garment. We would book Michaela in a heartbeat for runway. I had a semi-game plan, which was to just impress them with my attitude and my personality. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Hi. I mean, as soon as she came to the door, she was, like, really funny. Hey, you look good. <laughs> Danielle's very exotic looking. She reminds me of some of the models they use in, like, Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume ads. She's mm. amazing. See you. Yes, thank Bye. you. The wrong way. Okay, what would you like me to do? The CBD's back that way. You're now just going by instinct. Yeah. Modeling the instinct. Yep. Okay. Hi, how's it going? How are you Good to see you. I love 27 Names, one of my favorite designers. We would consider booking Elsa for a runway. High Street, High Street, yes. Luckily, just by my inner gut feeling, we found High Street. And so I whipped my heels off and I was running around trying to find 27 Names. Courtney. Hello, Julie. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, we might just get you to sit and wait. Elsa was there, and I was like, oh, damn it. Hey. Courtney was there, and Elsa was there, and I was kind of like, oh, crap. Like, should I wait or should I go? Where have you been so far? Our oh, world. When Michaela told me that she'd already been to one go see, I was stressed out about it because people seemed like they were so much ahead of me. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm Danielle. Hi. She looked fantastic in the coat. She's got a great figure. I think with her height, she can really pull things off. And I was really impressed with her walk. Ten points for Gryffindor. <laughs> My first impression of Courtney was that she was a little bit stilted because Elsa was already in here, so I think she was more interested in the competition than at the actual casting. We definitely wouldn't book Courtney for a one-way. Her walk was way too bouncy. Some advice to Michaela would be don't turn up to a go see in a bright pink bra. The thing I liked most about Michaela, she was really professional. We would book Michaela for runway. Okay, so that's two down and three to go. How tall are you? You're very tall. You're very tall. Yes, I'm about 5'11. 5'11? Oh, oh, yes, perfect. Let's put her in there. Go I'll on. Book you in this? Yes, I would book Elsa for runway. She had a great walk. She has a swagger that makes you follow her. Man, often it is weird. Now, do you know our brand? Do you know World? World, I'm not so familiar with high fashion yet because I... You will be. Yeah, once I become a model. Cool. You're already a model. We wouldn't book Courtney for a runway show simply because our brand is a very flamboyant brand. Don't ever, ever say to a client when I become a model. Because yeah. you're a beautiful, beautiful young girl and you. you're a model. Okay. Elsa didn't blow me away. She'd definitely be somebody that I'd put on hold, but maybe it'd just be whether she made it through to the final cut. That's 
Perfect. Yes! <laughs> they loved me. That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely think being a bit on the more petite side would mean she's more of a photographic model. Have you lost? Me? Yeah. A little bit. Are you slightly, lost? Yeah. slightly. An hour, 12 minutes on the clock, no pressure. I dare to run a red light. I was so panicking. I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, uh. I was excited for our go. Says Colin told us that we have to do five and that we have to be back by 5 pm. I was feeling really confident. I was looking forward to it because I thought that I would do really well, but I was wrong. <laughs> you sort of know where you are? I was looking for Westlake Girls High School for the sportswear clothing. I was trying to desperately catch up and I was reading my map way too fast so I didn't actually stop and relax and just try and take it slowly. Yep, okay, it's the bridge there. There's okay. the bridge, right, okay. right, right, right. It's alright. Okay. Oh my gosh, look. Ah! Our billboard. <laughs> it's awesome. It goes with it too and we'll put some shoes on. Yeah. World was cool. Francis put me in this weird as pink outfit. That is so cool. Come that on, looks come awesome. Out. She nailed it in five seconds. Actually, when she came out of the changing room, she had transformed and morphed her personality to be that party dress. Oh no, where's my driver? I was getting car sick from trying to read the map. I was flipping it over, turning pages, and just working myself up. Okay, please turn around and then, sorry, go back. I just saw the school. Okay. Oh, we drove right past it so many times. Right, right, right. And I got out and I ran for my life and I went to the uniform shop thinking that sportswear maybe I was modelling like school uniform. And that was closed. And then I sort of stopped and thought about it and I thought maybe the gym. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm Courtney. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Hey, Tip. Yeah. So today we are here with Hi. CJ Bruton. Paul Hanari from the Vogue Breakers. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, teach you how to shoot the ball. Today we were asking all the girls to have a little lesson in shooting the hoop and then translate that lesson into a mini photo shoot. And I got most of them in, which I was proud of. At least one thing went good that day. One more time. Courtney didn't really deliver for me on the photographic side. She looked really lost. Hello, I'm Elsa. Hi, Teresa. Nice to meet you. I would book Elsa for runway uh, because she does have a good walk. Oh, hell no. Elsa was always one step ahead of me, and I got kind of frustrated. I think Michaela has got the right look and feel for Sable and Minx. She's definitely lovely and really distinctive. I'm lost. It's like it was high school. I've seen that somewhere, but I can't remember where. It has to be on this road somewhere. Oh, I'm not too sure how to get there at all. Damn it. Trying to find a school, I really was like, oh my gosh, I'm lost. We had to stop for like 10 minutes. I was really struggling at this point. Here we are, we're Girls High. I was freaking out because this massive school, like how are we supposed to find this go seat? I ran around like the whole school. Here we are. Oh, Michaela's here. Okay. I have no idea where to go. Do you have any idea Whoa. where to we'll go? <laughs> Sportswear, I'm thinking of a gym. We're gonna just pull over because we're scared. No, I, that's the motorway I come from. I, know, like, motorway. I got so lost and it was such a disaster. I went over the bridge like six times. I was, I'm thinking we should turn around again, but that seems so stupid. So would you please be able to turn and go back towards the city? Sorry, it's just okay. so No, no, that's fine. Can you wait for me? Yeah. I got to the gym doors and I asked Elsa to wait for me while I put my shoes on. And she waited for me nicely. How are you? I'm Michaela, nice to meet you. Hello. And I just kind of like pushed in front of her and it was kind of rude, but oh well, it's life. So Elsa, do you mind? Sure thing. Can we just wait outside? It's fine. Some people might think I'm a bit crazy, not being like pulling here. Nah, I'm going first. It's just not my nature. When Michaela got into the wardrobe, she looked like she could have been a professional basketball player. She looked believable. I have height, but I don't necessarily have the coordination. Go. Time. Elsa lost it in her face a lot. She was concentrating very hard on not losing the ball. I don't think Elsa was particularly what we were looking for in terms of today's shoot being a sportswear campaign. Oh, we were here before. I could have. Oh, I could have wasted time, man. Hi. Hello. 
How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm Courtney. I asked the designers whether or not they'd had all the girls come, and they said they did, but a long time ago. And I was like, typical. It's just great. It gets worse by the second. So this is the last place, and we can't get lost. Okay. I want to be first. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Yes. That was sweet wearing the sportswear gear. It was like, oh yeah, I'm home. I'm home. Get the shit on me. I realised I was first, and I was really, really stoked. And I was like, that's awesome. One, two, three. Right. I would absolutely book Danielle for a photo shoot. 100%. I grabbed everything and bolted. Hurry up, come on! And I was only half dressed, only had my bra on and my pants <laughs> straight to the car. I think if we'd had more time and she wasn't the last contestant who was running really late, I probably would have tried a few more outfits on her because I think I could have achieved a better look. Shit, I time. I was really happy I made it in time. I got to see all my designers. Hi, Elsa. Hi. In my second? Yeah. I made the decision not to go in the last designer because that was just too late, you know. It's a shame Courtney didn't turn up and actually would have really liked to have seen her. So, yeah, she probably missed a good opportunity. Thanks, Jean. No worries. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Me and Elsa were like waiting and staring at the clock. I guess. <laughs> and then Danny like runs through with one shoe on. I got there at 4.56. Four minutes to spare. <laughs> Where's Courtney? I'm um, just keep going and then go left again. Go left? Please, yeah. Okay, coming to exits up here. I can either stay in this lane and exit, or I can move across to the right. Can you exit to, to that way? It says exit on the Eastman Street. When it got to five o'clock, Courtney still hadn't come in, and then five past five, we were just like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Ten minutes after five, she shows up. Ten minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell she was really upset about it. Do you guys go to every place? Yeah. yeah. Did you? No, I, I missed that one person. When the other girls told me that they'd seen five designers and it was all, you know, within mm -hmm. the time limit, I just felt so let down. Hello again, ladies. Now, this was a go sees challenge. This was your chance to sell yourself. It's a really important part of the industry. Michaela, congratulations for coming back first. Thank you. Courtney, you were late. Yeah. So, unfortunately, you are disqualified. And I even have worse news, which shocked me. You got zero bookings. Really? I was quite surprised when Colin told me I got my bookings. I was trying really hard to be professional. Now, this was a challenge, as you know, and one girl did stand out. She got the most bookings, and she's going to be in for a really exciting prize. And to tell you all about that is Chris from Ford. Thanks, Colin. Good evening, ladies, and congratulations. Not only am I going to give you the keys to a brand new Ford Fiesta for 12 months, We'd also love you to be our Fiesta brand ambassador, showing off our fantastic Fiesta at glamorous events all up and down the country. Woo! It is an awesome prize. I wouldn't mind winning that. I was really anxious. I was like, who's it gonna be? The winner is... Danielle. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I was just like, hell yeah! <laughs> I won. <laughs> oh, stink. Like, you know, that would have been a cool prize for me to win. But Danielle got it instead. It was an enormous prize, and it was sad that I didn't win, but I do know that I tried my hardest. Go home, relax, and put your best foot forward for the next leg of the competition. How did you feel about today? Crap. My worst day I've ever had in the show. I was upset. It was like, I tried real hard, like, and yeah. yesterday, last night, I was up till 12, like, practicing my catwalk and stuff. It was probably the worst day I've ever had <laughs> in the top model competition. It's crazy. So if we have a photo shoot, I'm just going to step it up and cream it. 
all that running around, trying to find your way and stressing over a map and stuff. Yeah. For nothing, in a way. The atmosphere in the house is quite weird. Like, Courtney's not really talking and Danielle's like, Ooh, I won this awesome prize. Maybe we should practice some car poses for you. <laughs> One hand, elbows, pinky, feet. <laughs> The reaction from Courtney wasn't that great though. She kinda turned a blind eye to me. I was like, whatever dude, I won. <laughs> I'm the ambassador for Ford Fiesta. Okay, okay, ready, ready? Here's an opportunity to let loose girls with all the fun of the fair. Love, Love Sarah. Sarah. It's like clowns. a fear. We'll be like with clowns. Oh, cool. I don't like clowns. Oh. I'm gonna punch a clown tonight if I see one. <laughs> <laughs> When we arrived at the Glassons Fun House, we were all so blown away. It was just incredible. There were beautiful clothes, amazing sets. It was just great. Welcome to this amazing new Glassons store. Incredible design, lots of amazing clothes and accessories. Great place to do a photo shoot. So with us from Glassons is Di. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. I'm really eager to see you girls perform in this fabulous fashion fair ground. Now also joining our party is Craig Owen. Craig's a fantastic photographer. You remember Craig from Cycle One? Photographing girls in the snow, photographing the girls in the boxing ring. There's a few punches going down there. So I knew, you know, we had to really impress them this time. Congratulations on getting this far. Let's have a great shoot. OK, girls, you heard him. Let's go crazy. The whole theme and the whole idea of it was really cool. I always wanted long hair. Being in top four and wanting to win this competition and everyone stepping up their game, the pressure is on. Hi, Mum. Oh, how's it going? How's it looking? Yeah, you look like a big bit of candy floss. I have never worn anything like that. It was totally radical, so it was really awesome. Now bring this candy floss in a wee bit, and that's too cheesy. When you start doing things like that, it becomes too contrived. Craig isn't as comforting as the other photographers, which is good for us. Now I want you to get into it a little bit more and start to give me your own ideas. Cute. Elle's a really tried hard and she listened and she really applied herself and she was taking direction well. That's it. Now you got it. I enjoyed shooting Elsa because she nailed it very quickly. Just relax the hand onto the couch. Good girl. I was just remember your hands to make sure that the fingers are together, not wide. That's cute. Good girl. Elsa's has got a lovely angelic face that suited the shot and suited the styling of the hair perfectly. She was actually quite inspiring. So do you feel like Lady Gaga? Yeah. <laughs> I do. All right, we'll go five more frames. I hope I got a good enough photo to get in the final three. I know I tried my best. I think she did an excellent job. She's got quite a quirky nature. It sort of suited her. I love that picture. Wow, look at those eyes. I completely screwed up yesterday, so I'm not sure if I'll get through the top three. Courtney came to set and she looked incredible. And the idea was that she was the skull hung off these orange strings. Just imagine you are a puppet who may have fallen asleep. I was quite excited to be on the table. It seemed pretty cool, you know, to be elevated on marionette strings. Now that's hamming up a wee bit towards being a model. And then he told me that it looks too modelish. and it's kind of stupid because I'm here to model. If you imagine a rag doll yeah. that's just been hung up, there's still quite a lot of stuff that you can play with for Craig that you can give him. I think that Courtney oversaw it, but at the end of the day, she just had to listen to what Craig wanted and go with it. Just try and be broken. Look at these mannequins at the back here. They've got some great stance that you can copy. That's better. That's it. Just to make matters worse, one of the marionette strings fell down, so I just used it in my shoot and hopefully I pulled it off. There we go. One more shot. Is that your best one? I've gotten this far and I'm really proud of how I've done. And I really want this, but there's only so much you can do and I've tried my hardest and that's the best I can do. This is what I thought might happen with her because she had a bad day with the ghosties that she was going to come in and try too hard. She just didn't put herself in theme. How'd your finger? Yeah, it was good, it was good. Does he give you much direction? 
Not really. So you kind of got you got to really know what to do. Oh, goodness gracious! Now you look like those old carnival creatures that they put in a cage. Oh, thanks, Chris. Yeah. Back home, where I come from, other than the Mungamal bears, not many people have this many tattoos. Just relax into it. I stayed focused throughout the whole shoot, even though I was lying in a paddock of hydrangeas. Danielle, make sure you move your mouth around. Don't leave it the same. You're not that. <laughs> Danielle's got strong features. I had to be careful how I lit her. It was probably the most stressful shot for me. Do the booty thing. Good girl, get out. Gorgeous. I'm not good at being sexy, so I pretended. Just pop my booty out. I think I got away with it pretty damn fine. Arms out more. Head up more. Getting into it, Danielle. Hey, bro. <laughs> you could see that she really wanted to be there, and she was having a good time. Bellissima. And I'm like, wicked, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. What else do you want to do? Cool. Oh, my, <laughs> my shoot went fantastically. I was just happy to be there, and I oh, did the job. Gosh. I am in it to win it. Win a winner chicken dinner. Before the shoot, I started crying and I just had like a little breakdown because being so close to the end of the competition, I feel like the pressure is on. Okay, I think I'm alright. <laughs> Thank God I haven't on set. <laughs> crying it all out before my photo shoot helped me because then I wasn't bottling it in and then you can go do your photo shoot well. I thought my outfit was awesome when I first tried it on. Back in the day when we were in Wellington, I was uncomfortable doing lingerie, and now I'm totally comfortable in this. Use the frame there, square off a wee bit. Just come over this way more, and lean in there, and then drop your head down a wee bit. Caleb, okay, you've got this really amazingly playful outfit. I really want to see that in your face as well, that real passion and fun and cheekiness. Yeah, yeah what about you in fact with something? That's it. She's looking very worried there. We had Di, the client, standing there on set, and she just looked like she was bored. As we go forward, she's lacking more confidence. They're not going to hire you again if they're seeing that you're giving them 60%. I mean, why would you? Hey, Michaela, you kind of look really sad and down and no energy at all. But you've just got to lift your spirits. You know, it's not for too long. This is your chance. Yeah. And I actually thought she was going to burst into tears. You have to reach out for it, OK? This photo shoot is very crucial. This competition is getting extremely hard. And I think that if you want to get to the top, then you would have had to have done good in this photo shoot. So let's wrap it up there. Thank you so much. That Thank was you. so much fun. Thank you. It's time for you to meet with the judges. Only three will continue on in the hope of becoming New Zealand's next top model. Love, Love Sarah. Sarah. So it's not a double elimination? But it says only three of you will go on. If I got eliminated today, I'd be pretty gutted. Like, to leave. Because yeah. we've all become, like, real close. And, like, you're so close to the prize that you can, like, smell it. I want to be in the top three so bad that it doesn't even bother me that I haven't seen Nelly in a while. I want to win this for me and her. Like we've been through so much, like so many girls from Wellington in like, what, like two months. I think eliminations are going to be very intense. You never know who's going to go home. You never know if it'll be like a double elimination. And it's always just something that you don't expect. Hi, girls. Hi. Final four. Yeah. Woo! Congratulations. You've just completed one of the most important weeks in this competition. But the reality is, every week in this competition is important. And helping me judge you today is your photo shoot director, Mr. Chris Siserich. Hi, girls. Runway coach and international model, Colin Mathura Jeffrey. Ladies. And our special guest judge today, designer from World, Mr. Francis Hooper. Hi, girls. Hi. New Zealand's next top model will win representation with my agency, 62 Models, a one-year contract with CoverGirl, a six-page editorial with Clio magazine, your very own Ford Fiesta car, and our winner will fly to Los Angeles via Sydney, courtesy of the Australia and Pacific Blue, where you will meet 
with Chic Models and Next Models LA. <laughs> Girls, it's time for your individual evaluations. Elsa. Hello, how are you? Good, Elsa, how are you? Really good, thanks. Did you enjoy the Go See Challenge? I really loved the Go See Challenge. It made me see all of Auckland, which I loved. I love Auckland. You weren't there to see Auckland. <laughs> you were actually there to get jobs. Yeah, no. Do you think the designers liked you? I hope so. I loved meeting the designers. They were great. The Elsa was wonderful and she walks really well. You could tell she loves the runway. Out of all the designers that you met, four of them said that they would book you. Wicked. Shall we have a look at the shot that Guy Coombs took of you? Sure thing. The stylist ATIP said that he actually wouldn't book you for this shoot, but he said he would book you for runway for these guys. Wicked, that's cool. You shot at the new Glassons flagship store. Do you want to tell us about your character? It was like Harajuku girl mixed with Lady Gaga. I can't wait to see the photo. Me too. Gorgeous picture. Great shot. The whole setup looks incredible. I would like to go there and try something on. And I think you were perfectly cast for this. And you did a fantastic job. You came in there and you gave Craig some options. It was great. I think you did well. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Elsa. Thank Danielle. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> How was your week? My week was fantastic. I loved getting out and meeting all the designers and trying on their clothes and struggling my stuff. It was awesome. How many bookings did you get? Nine. Nine oh. bookings. Danielle, you were fantastic. You nailed it. Primo. That's definitely the first half of the week, A1. The shoot that you did with Guy Coombs, have you played basketball before? Yeah, a little bit. In your shot, that should show through, right? Hopefully. Should we have a look? Yep. That's a really convincing shot, that's why they booked you. That's awesome. How do you think your photo shoot went with Craig Owen? It was a slow start and it took me a while to get into. I think you had quite a difficult shoot, probably the most difficult set to work with because it was quite flat. Yeah. Should we have a look at your photo? Yep. The thing, Danielle, that I liked seeing in you is that you were having a good time. I'm just looking at the flowers behind. And that's so strange because you're such a powerhouse in a photo. If you were to do the same shot now, would you pull the same pose? Probably pop a little bit more ass out. I think the other way of looking at that is maybe give yourself a bit more of an S-bend. Yeah. I think you look good. I don't think you look amazing, Danielle. I think you're just a little bit lost. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Michaela. Did you enjoy your week? The Go Seas Challenge was probably the highlight of my week. I'm really proud of myself for actually even being able to read a map because I've never read one before. So Michaela, you booked six jobs. Cool. From the first minute I met you, I thought, oh, this girl's going to be fantastic. And you've got a fierce walk. Thank you. How do you think you went with ATIP and Guy Coombs? I think sportswear was definitely the hardest go see. I didn't expect that at all. Let's look at your photo. I'd buy those shorts. That does look really cool. Talk to me about your shoot with Craig Owen. My shoot with Craig Owen was up and down. Beforehand, I had a little bit of a cry because the pressure of being in the top four hit me. We better look at your photo. Wow, you look incredible. It's just beautiful red apples, the stripy hat and those pink eyes and the ponytails. Michaela, I asked Craig if he could tell you'd had a meltdown. He said, I heard she'd had a meltdown, but I saw no evidence of it. And that was a very encouraging thing. Not a bad week. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Courtney. Hi. Hi. You look miserable already. Yeah. <laughs> Why? My glasses are really crap and... <laughs> um, I just got lost and it was just a disaster and I hated it. What happened to you at the GOSEES has happened to many models and will happen to you in your career and to all of you at stages. Did the getting lost make you all flustered? Is that what set you off down the wrong path? I think that I was trying too hard to be really professional and I think that my personality didn't show through because I was just trying too hard. When you came and saw us at World, you actually didn't need to say anything. You were beautiful, you walked well, the clothes looked great on you. And the one reason why we didn't book you is you said that you weren't a model to me. Okay. And that was the only thing. 
Courtney, how did you go with Guy Coombs and ATIP with the sportswear campaign? I really enjoyed it and I left feeling good about it. Let's have a look at your photo. Maybe a little bit flat. Just yeah. needed to be a little bit more dynamic in your body language. Talk to me about your shoot with Craig Owen. I tried really, really hard on the photo shoot. This whole set and your outfit was just amazing and your makeup was beautiful and you looked incredible. And I actually do like your picture. Yeah, I like it. I think it's better than what I expected it to be. I like it as well. It's a beautiful shot. I think she nailed it. She is a model. Sorry, there you are. <laughs> Look at the photo, honey. Thanks. <laughs> the first thing I thought when I looked at it was I wonder where she got the shoes from. <laughs> and I'm not sure that's what you were trying to convey. Thanks. <laughs> Girls, three of you are going back to the model house tonight and one of you is going home. It's time for us to deliberate. Thank you. Four girls, someone's going home tonight. Let's start with Courtney. Well, she's got such a beautiful, beautiful face and amazing eyes and arguably, you know, the best body in the competition. I just think she needed to let go into it a little bit more. The photos, I think, reflected the day that I met her. She just lacked the confidence. When the ghosties didn't go well for her, she was actually really shocked. When I told her she had zero bookings, she was stunned because she actually thought she did all right. The ghosties didn't go well, that was not good. But then she carried that through into the photo shoot with Craig and that's a problem for me. Is Courtney worth it? I think she is, you know? Those eyes and the, the cheekbones and yeah, the Yeah, but Chris, you can think that, but Courtney doesn't think it. That's the problem. Courtney normally thinks it, but she didn't think it today. Elsa. Pretty in pink. The lonely twin. I so love that wig. In this photo, she's selling a fantasy. It's just fantastic. Look at her. You just want to go there and play. She was playful during this shoot. She wanted to give everything a go. She was really taking direction well, and she constantly pulls out good photos. When we saw her, she floored us straight away just with the hair, and she had a strong walk. I was quite surprised because she said she was from Dunedin. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> she's <laughs> going to be this goth bag. And she was wonderful. She did reasonably well with the go sees, but purely from a runway point of view, not from a photographic point of still view. Still bookings, Sarah. Still, They're bookings, still bookings. Still bookings, but is she an all-round model? Danielle. She aced the go-sees. Not sure about the photo shoot. For me, this photo is the weakest out of the four. It was a flat set for her to work with. She was having a good time, but the photo I don't like as much as the others. I love Danielle. She's got amazing strength, but definitely she's gone bush in that photo. Ironically, I like her face in it. She's got a beautiful lipstick and she's made up to look like a beautiful girl here. But she's a wallflower. At the Go Seas, we put her in our European samples and they're vicious. And she was beautiful. And when I saw the photos, I was really surprised at how weak the photo was. Ooh, she cruising. Chris, you've done all the shoots. Has she ever been 100% on any shoot? She was 100% on three of them. My one, Tony's one, and David Shields. So why did she coast on this one? Not sure, it might have just been that rapport that she had with Craig. Maybe she didn't really click. He wasn't giving them much, so. Well, Worked that's... for the others though, didn't it? Michaela? Beautiful set, and isn't she just gorgeous? Her legs look unbelievable. They're incredible, gone forever. I love the attitude, I love her eyes. Body looks great, I mean, I'd buy anything for sale on that photo. Yeah, pretty much she's selling the whole thing. She was miserable at the back, right? She had a meltdown. Well, she kind of looked a bit miserable while she was standing in front of the camera there for a while. Really? Yeah, I thought she did. I had to say something to her. You know, I was like, are you bored? Do you not want to be here? You know, you've got to give us a bit more energy. But that's a disaster. That's something she has to learn. Nail the shot. Four girls, three going back to the model house. Someone's going home. Final four. I know now every time you stand in front of me, you're all a little bit nervous. But it's a competition and someone's got to go home. It was an interesting week for you all. Some of you shone, some of you didn't. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model and the first girl into our final is Michaela. Congratulations. Thanks. What a massive journey you've had. Yeah, it's been awesome. This photo, Michaela, is a highlight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.
The next name I'm going to call and joining Michaela in our final is Danielle. You had an incredible week with the go scenes. Did your photo really let you down? I hope that will be the last time I have to say that to you. Me too. Congratulations, Danielle. Thank you, Sarah. Two girls safe, and we're already at our bottom two. Come forward. Elsa, Courtney, you've both done incredibly well, not just physically, but personally. It's been a pleasure to watch you both on this journey. Elsa, you have proved you're more than a twin. You've overcome some personal stress yourself and proved to us that you are a professional. Got some beautiful shots behind you and a good future. Courtney, you've blossomed in front of our very eyes. You've continually been very close to the top, but you didn't have a good week this week. I can't send you both back to the model house tonight. Someone's got to go home. Still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model and the last girl into our final. Is Elsa. Thanks, I Congratulations. Thank you so much. Courtney, I think you are fantastic and I think you've got a lovely future ahead of you as a model. Cool, thanks. I don't think this is the last we'll see of you. Okay, that's good. I don't know how much the other girls want it, but I wanted it so bad. Yeah, I am a bit gutted. It only takes one slip up to get eliminated at this stage, especially because the GoC challenge just pretty much ruined my whole week. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. I auditioned for this competition, never dreaming that I'd come forth, and so I am really proud of my achievements. I feel like a whole new person, and then I'm really excited about going back to school and think everyone's going to be so shocked. And I think that I've become a lot more mature and I've built a talent that I can use in the future. So it's really cool. Did the judges get it right? You decide. Who do you think should be New Zealand's next top model? Text your choice to 3330. Text costs 50 cents. Then visit tv3.co.nz to be part of the chat. And if you've missed an episode, catch up on demand. Action. Coming up on New Zealand's next top model. Who will put the easy breezy into cover girl? It's the new look of clean. And who will crash and burn? This is the fear of failure. Unfortunately, I think Danielle may have shot herself in the foot. Before the grand finale walk off. The winner of New Zealand's Next Top Model is 